click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends in last video we have seen something called as multi catch exceptions now in this video we are going to watch out another uh, new feature java has java exception handling mechanism has given us and that is what with uh, that is nothing but a try with the resource statement okay now uh, with java 1.7 it has introduced it uh, basically uh, resources basically is being got very much good advantage by using this particular statement okay so what actually do you mean a resource and what is what this try with resource statement will do we'll see through see this particular thing in detail okay so let's watch it out so what do you mean by try with resource statement so basically it is a extension to the try statement which we have got in 1.7 java 1.7 so basically uh, uh, what try statement used to do it used to handle or what i can say it enclosed a code which may gives you exception or may not give you the exception okay but if any exception used to occur it used to throw it to the catch block right now apart from this is basic uh, functionality that try block has given us there is one more capability has been introduced to the try block that is it is going to contain or it is going to declare and resource and that resource you can use inside the try block okay and that particular resource you can automatically close once the job is done once the try block uh, execution completes okay now basically let me give you the idea about what is resource so basically uh, i'm having a programs where, where we are normally using some external resources so the external resources are like you are having file or you are having database or you are using some devices external devices so in order to handle that or in order to uh, deal with that you are having some classes so for example if i want to deal with the files so we are having a good uh, java.io package which has given you many classes to deal with the files okay if you want to work with the databases then we are having SQ, uh, you know the java.sql package which has given me many classes to deal with the databases okay so basically uh, these resources are not a actual part of a java they are some external resources these uh, need to be uh, or i can say these resources need to be used in our program so that uh, we can make use of it and once my job is done i can i have to do the closing closing it means what my job is done i don't i don't require this resource anymore i just have to disconnect it with my program okay so basically um, if you are disconnecting it then only another uh, what i can say program or another feature can make use of those resources otherwise with what will happen it will stuck with you it will uh, just remain open uh, with your program unnecessarily and uh, be because of it extra memory is getting uh, what i can say used there is a uh, it may possible that it can give you memory leakage okay because of such open uh, resources so basically as a programmer you have to close it once it is being done but it may possible that that before closing it you have written the code for closing it explicitly or you may not have written it basically you completely forgot to uh, write the close statement for the resources okay uh, so in that case it will remain open and i want to avoid it i don't want this to be happened and that's why java uh, 1.7 has given you this particular feature so any resource we have declared inside the try block will get automatically closed once the job is done okay even if in the try block exception occurred still this particular resource will get closed so that ensure that ensures the closing of the resource so basically uh, we haven't seen uh, you know io package yet uh, we haven't learned how to deal with the files 
in future videos we will definitely learn it but the, in this particular program i have made use of a io uh, io package okay so um, if you you find any difficulty to understand what is io just first watch out our io uh, package uh, videos and then you can actually able to relate that to this particular thing without uh, understanding of io exceptions or uh, what i can say io uh, topic or a file topic you may not able to understand it okay so basically uh, try with the resource uh, if you see in the slide what it is saying it is nothing but a automatic resource management or the shortcut for it is a arm okay so automatic resource management is based on the expanded form of the try statement so how you can make a particular resource how you can declare a resource in the try block so if you see here the statement try then you have to give the parenthesis then you have a normal block of your try block in which you will be writing the code to use that resource okay so this resource specification has to be given inside the parenthesis of a try block okay now one thing you have to keep in a mind when i'm saying resource what do you mean by that as i told you any external java resource okay any ex a file or any database is known as a resource but sometimes sometimes uh, even if it is a resource it is not a resource as per the java so java has given some definition to the resource so what is that definition any class any class is implementing auto closable interface is known as resource okay any class who is implementing auto closable interface is known as what resource so this auto closable uh, interface is having one method called as close so whenever you are implementing it that close method you are getting it in yours so basically all the stream classes uh, provided by java.io package is inherently got this particular capability and that's why all the classes of io packages or stream uh, classes are considered as resources okay so if you have like uh, we are having a uh, file input stream or buffer reader or uh, buffer input stream buffer output stream these are all classes provided by your java.io package and that all are implementing internally your auto closable interface and that's why they all are having close method inside it okay and only those classes you can use in the try block not any class just any class cannot be considered as resource so just keep this thing in the mind okay so any uh, uh, what i can say any class which is having implemented your auto closable interface is considered as resource okay and that you can make use of in the try block now this auto closable interface has been inherited by closable interface okay so either you can make use of closable interface or auto closable interface okay so so that you can make your own resource fine so let's check it out how we can make use of try with resource statement with the help of a program so here i'm having a small program as i told you that i have make you uh, i have made use of java.io package in this particular program so basically uh, i will try uh, to explain you what is this basically this program is going to read some data from the file okay so whenever you are dealing with a file there are n number of classes are available in java.io package and i'm going to make use of one of it and the class which i'm going to make use of it to read that that is nothing but file input stream so what does what this particular file input stream will do so file input stream class is making a i would say i'm having something like this the structure is like this 
I'm having a Java class and this Java class wants to read something from one file. The file name is uh, I have given example.txt. Okay, so the, this is my file and there is my Java program. Okay, now there is a lot of difference between your txt file and your Java program. They directly cannot communicate with each other. So we require one virtual stream channel to be created between them so that my Java program can able to read whatever written inside that txt file. And for that you require an object even if it is a channel even if it is a stream in terms of Java everything is an object okay so that channel or a uh, stream which I'm going to create or interface between this file and my Java program is nothing but an object and this object is nothing but of type file input stream okay so this file input stream is going to be act as an intermediator between your file and your java program okay so now what is going to do uh, what what this file input stream will do it will try to con connect your java program with this txt file it will read each and every character from this particular file and it is transferred to your java program so later on java program can able to get that information it can able to de uh, use that information or it can able to print that information whatever you want to do with that input okay so now in this program apart from your standard input you are having now file as your input okay so let's move to the program now so here i'm having import statement java.io package because i'm going to use a file input stream and it is being provided by java.io package so you have to include import that package first then my i'm having a class called as show file in that i'm having main method okay then i'm having one variable called as int i which we will be using later and then i have a string uh, variable file name and in that I have provided one file path okay so the path is in F drive inside ekira programs then 11 11 2018 folder inside that there is an example dot txt so let me show you this file so this is my example dot txt file which is having some text inside it so this text is try with resource example now I want to read this content in my program so first of all one thing you have to keep in mind whenever you are giving a path you have to provide it with a double slash okay because slash is having one special meaning in that Java so if you want to provide as a forward slash over here you have to provide escape sequence okay and that's why I have made use of extra slash so it will give it will treat it as what path okay so once the path has been given now what I have done is I, in a try block in the parenthesis here I have created object of file input stream class so file input stream fin is equals to new file input stream to which you have to provide the file name okay so either you can directly give this entire string or you can give it like this okay as you wish then here uh, my try block has started okay so in that try block this is the try block in that i have a do loop you know do while loop right so even if the condition is true or false at least once this particular block will execute so in this do statement i have fin dot read so what is fin it's a reference of file input stream and read method has been given by file input stream class and whatever i'm going to read it being being stored in int i okay so basically uh, actually what going to happen over here you have created a channel between your file and your java program and this i 
will return me the basically this re read method is going to give me some value okay and that value will tell me whether I'm capable to read the data or not so if if this value of i is not equal to minus one that is you have not reached to the end of the line okay so in that case you can keep on reading single character at a time okay so that's that's why i have make, made use of loop so it will read one character at a time so i'm just checking the position uh, until this if not equal to minus one i'm going to keep on reading the data and i'm going to print it so this i will ha uh, have integer value so basically i'm going to convert them into the character you know unicodes right so that same concept i'm going to make use of so this uh, particular character whichever is the character is there it is going to be printed okay so when it reach it once you have completed reading each and every character you will reach to end of your file end of your content and that is being represented by minus one understand and that's why the condition is like this you will be executing this do loop till if i is not equal to minus one then you have given the condition that is while i uh, i is not equal to minus one so that many times your do loop will get executed now suppose this particular while doing this particular thing you got a, uh, you you got an exception what will happen in normal scenarios what the code after uh, the code after your try, uh, that particular line where you got exception will not get executes so even if uh, this this is there still the resource will get closed even if you are not returned the close statement okay that was the situation before 1.7 but with this feature we got this additional advantage that even if you get exception even if uh, you have not specified explicitly any close statement but still your resource will get closed okay so here I'm having catch statement it is just checking for file not found exception this is a checked exception basically and uh, if the, this happens then it will tell you me that is file not found and then you are having another exception io exception so this io exception if occurred then it will show me that an io error occurred okay so let's try to compile this so it has got compiled let's try to run this now so if you remember the content of the uh, file the file content was try with resource example so i'm able to read this one character at a time and then i'm printing it to the console so that's what the motto of this particular thing okay so before Java 1.7, we used to explicitly write the close statement, which was having no guarantee whether it will get closed or not. But now we just have to rely on try statement. It will definitely do the job of closing the resource. Okay, so that's what your try with resource statement all about. I hope you understood this particular concept. Uh, if you find difficulty to understand what is file input stream and all then just go and watch our io uh, topic and uh, input and output uh, stream topic and then come to this so you will definitely understand it okay so just try out this uh, if you like this do share and subscribe our channel thank you